Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video I'm going to talk about uh, Wi-Fi routers and the different type of Wi-Fi routers and what you should know before buying a Wi-Fi router. But before I continue, let me give you a brief idea. Uh, before uh, working with the, what do you say, I was passionate about smartphones and stuff. I was very much passionate about networking. Uh, this is in, uh, what do you say, early 90s, uh, where we have had actually didn't even have proper internet. And even VAD in, uh, internet speeds that's on Ethernet were not that fast. We, the fastest speeds that we could get was uh, 10 megabit Ethernet ports and then gradually uh, it uh, got upgraded to 100 megabits and now we have gigabit ports and Wi-Fi was actually not there. Uh, in uh, late 90s, I think so it was, I don't recall but it was late 90s and I got my first Wi-Fi router that was a Linksys. Uh, uh, router and speeds on that were just on the B standard which is no longer there and the speeds that it had was just 11 megabit then uh, uh, we moved to the uh, uh, G standard that had 54 megabit speeds and I got the Linksys WRT 54G a very popular uh, router it was not available in India so I imported and I in fact I paid about 18,000 so I've spent a lot of money on Wi-Fi routers and as you can see I if you follow me I still buy a lot of Wi-Fi routers, I have purchased a lot of Wi-Fi routers and you can also check out some of the reviews that I've posted on Wi-Fi routers. So I was very passionate about Wi-Fi routers. So I want to talk about Wi-Fi routers and what are the things you should know about Wi-Fi routers because if you look at the market right now, you can get Wi-Fi routers for just around rupees 1000, that's less than $20 and they all the way high-end routers can cost over 20000 For example, uh, this is the Asus router that uh, when I purchased was around 21000 so you have a huge range, but what is the thing that you should know? Let's talk about that. And first, let's talk about the basic Wi-Fi routers that you would get. And if a Wi-Fi router does not specify what band it is using, and all these Wi-Fi routers actually uh, transmit, uh, uh, use this airwaves, uh, radio waves, and they use the unlicensed spectrum. Uh, for this and these are not very high uh, range uh, radio waves that are using and the range is sort of limited many of these Wi-Fi routers uh, manufacturers claim that the range they offer is about 300 feet but realistically in an urban environment uh, the speeds uh, the range that you would get would vary anywhere from about uh, 40 feet to 70 or 80 feet and if a router does not specify what uh, band or frequency it is using generally it will use the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band and these days, if you're going to buy even a basic entry level router, it will support speeds up to uh, 150 megabit on the N band. And you might uh, say 150 megabit. Wow, this is uh, such high speeds. But in reality, these are just theoretical uh, speeds, guys. These are the speeds uh, you will simply not get. For example, I have, as I mentioned, I've tested a lot of budget oriented routers, etc. On an N150 based router, the maximum uh, speeds that you would get in real world will range anywhere between uh, uh, let's say about uh, 30 to uh, 45 uh, megabit so as you can see uh, the speeds that you get from the theoretical what is printed on the box is less than 40 percent this is the norm guys this is how it works and in the 2.4 gigahertz band also we have different speeds for example as i mentioned the basic one is the n150 but you also get n300 and if you're going for a basic budget and uh, level router i would say go with the n300 based router for example this is a n300 based uh, router because many of the laptops these days do support speeds up to uh, 300 megabits. Uh, we also get uh, N450 and N600, for example, this ASUS high-end router on the 2.4 gigahertz band says that it supports uh, N600 speeds. But uh, realistically, guys, uh, you will simply not get those speeds because most of the laptops and even smartphones just don't support those uh, uh, N450 and N600 band on the 2.4 gigahertz uh, network. Again, you have to understand your Wi-Fi router, what it supports, even your equipment, for example, your smartphone or laptop should also support those band. So this is regarding the N basic band that you'll find on the Wi-Fi routers. Uh, the basic ones will be the N150, but again, I would say at least go with the N300. Now uh, we have one more band that is known as the five gigahertz Wi-Fi band. And you might uh, say, why do we have this new 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band because I have mentioned earlier that this 2.4 gigahertz band is the most common and these days in buildings if you stay in an apartment and buildings um, 
almost everyone will have a Wi-Fi router and the spectrum that is available is actually very limited. So if you have a lot of uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band in the same area, the range that you would get uh, will be a lot lower and there'll be interference issues. So to migrate these issues, these, uh, uh, what do you say, uh, router manufacturers, uh, opted for the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. As of now, the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band is not that congested, so that it offers a lot uh, better speeds. And also, we have the new standard on this uh, 5 gigahertz band that is known as Wi-Fi AC. And these Wi-Fi AC routers do offer much higher speeds compared to the uh, Wi-Fi N-based counterparts. For example, uh, you don't have to spend a lot these days for even a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, uh, band router. For example, this is a TP-Link uh, dual band router. That means it supports both the 2.4 gigahertz band as well as the 5 gigahertz AC band. Uh, and I reviewed this about two years ago and it sells for about 2,200 rupees. Uh, and the thing is that it does support 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi AC band. But the thing is that it supports 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi AC band at speeds of just about 433 megabits. We also have other speeds on the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band, namely 867 megabit and 1300 megabit. So again, you have to uh, look at uh, what is the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi AC speeds that you're getting with your router. If it's a very basic router, it'll just support speeds up to 433 megabit. But again, it's of a high-end router, it'll support Wi-Fi AC bands uh, speeds up to 1300 uh, megabit. And uh, I would say, if you have a very high-end laptop, or uh, for example, many of the high-end uh, Windows laptops and even the MacBook Pros do support Wi-Fi AC speeds up to uh, uh, 1300 megabit. So again, if your device supports, it's ideal to go uh, with, uh, what do you say, Wi-Fi uh, AC band router that supports those higher speeds. So not all uh, Wi-Fi uh, routers that support the AC speeds are the same. And uh, next, if we uh, talk about the Ethernet ports, if, if you have noticed any Wi-Fi router on the back, you will find some Ethernet ports. And on a budget end uh, router, these ports and even the WAN port, that is your internet port, uh, will be a 100 megabit uh, port. So it will support speeds uh, max up to 100 uh, megabit. And this is not an issue if uh, you're just a casual user, uh, 100 megabit speeds are more than enough. But if you have a LAN, or let's say even if you have a NAS, or uh, some network uh, attached storage, then going with the router that supports uh, gigabit speeds is important. So again, high-end routers do support uh, gigabit speeds on their uh, LAN port. And again, also if you have an internet connection that is more than 100 megabit, then you would have to go with the router that supports those gigabit uh, speeds. Also, many of the uh, routers these days, budget-oriented routers won't have it, but mid-range to high-end routers will even have a USB port. And many of the high-end routers actually uh, also have USB uh, 3 uh, speeds on the USB port. So you can actually connect your hard drives to it and use it like a local storage. You can actually add the users to it and specify storage. And many of the high-end routers also have torrent clients and uh, download managers. So you don't even have to keep your PC switched on. You can just uh, uh, assign the job to the router and it directly uh, downloads the file to the hard drive that is attached to the router. And many of the high-end routers also have, uh, what do you say, mobile apps these days. So you can uh, do that stuff with just the mobile app. You don't even have to log into your computer. And now uh, one thing that I uh, get a lot is regarding the Wi-Fi range. And as I've mentioned, uh, we have a lot of Wi-Fi routers from a budget range of just around 1000 rupees to router costing over 20,000 rupees. And many people think that if you buy a ultra expensive high-end router, the Wi-Fi range that you will get is will be spectacular, uh, amazing. And it is so sort of true, but I would say just 50%. For example, let me give you a very crude practical example. Uh, this is again a TP-Link router that I tested about two years ago. And this is a budget uh, dual band router. That means it supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. And uh, this costs around 2000 rupees as of now. And this one has a decent Wi-Fi range. I wouldn't say it's excellent or uh, poor. It sits in the middle, decent Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, if your apartment is about uh, 1200 to 1400 square feet will easily cover. And this is uh, another router. I actually personally use this uh, router. Uh, when I purchased this one, this one was cost, this costed me about 21,500. Now it's about 17,000. And you might assume that this high-end uh, Wi-Fi router, as it's costing almost 10 times more 
then this budget-oriented TP-Link router might offer a Wi-Fi range that is about five to six times higher compared to that budget-oriented uh, router. That is simply not true. Yes, this high-end router that I have, ASUS One, does offer higher speeds compared to, uh, higher uh, Wi-Fi coverage compared to the, uh, what do you say, uh, the budget-oriented router. But if I calculate the Wi-Fi range I'm getting, it's about just about 40% more compared to this one. So if Wi-Fi range is your highest criteria, I would say uh, you can just opt for Wi-Fi range extenders that you get. And these uh, are actually uh, gone very affordable these days. You can get just them for just about 1200 to 1500 rupees. Again, I have reviewed some of them on my channel. You can check out, uh, again, I'll have links in the YouTube show notes. And this way you can extend the Wi-Fi range. If uh, just having higher Wi-Fi coverage is your highest criteria, uh, criteria then going with the Wi-Fi extenders might be a much more affordable option than just going with a very high-end uh, router for example if you just wi-fi coverage is your criteria you can go with a mid-range router like this this will cost about 2000 rupees and add a wi-fi extender for about 1200 1300 rupees so for a price of about 3300 to 3500 rupees you can have a wi-fi coverage that is almost as good as that's found on this one so if wi-fi range uh, coverage uh, is your biggest criteria then you can go with the budget oriented router, router with a Wi-Fi extender. Yes, but again, there are some advantages of having a very high end uh, router. Uh, if you have more than like 30, 35 devices con uh, continuously connecting to your Wi-Fi router, then I would say investing in a high uh, end router does make a lot of sense uh, because uh, I've noticed that even this budget oriented routers up to 15 devices, they handle it fine. But if you have more than that, then uh, the performance can get a little bit uh, sluggish. So now uh, let's talk about what do you get uh, if you buy an ultra high-end router. For example, I have this, I own this, and in my office, as you can see, that AS Rock uh, router in the background, that box is there. That is the router that I use. Uh, and that router is also expensive, I think. So that's around uh, more than 250 US dollars. So what do you get with this very high-end uh, routers? Obviously, the Wi-Fi range that you would get is slightly better compared to budget-oriented router. It can range anywhere between uh, 20 to about 35%. And another thing that I've noticed is that 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, range is slightly better on these more expensive uh, routers. Also, with these high-end routers, obviously, these are dual-band routers. So, they will support 2.4 gigahertz band as well as 5 gigahertz band. Uh, but some of the high-end routers also have... Uh, support for two 5 gigahertz bands. So if you have a lot of devices, you can have two different 5 gigahertz uh, band networks, for example, a regular 2.4 gigahertz network and two different 5 gigahertz AC network. So you can divide your devices between those uh, networks for better uh, throughput. And also uh, these high-end routers do offer guest network access. Many of the mid-range routers also do offer guest access. And this is ideal uh, if uh, you have guests coming and you don't want Want them to access your internal network so you can just give them guest access network and if they log in they can't access your internal uh, network and obviously these high-end routers will have uh, gigabit uh, ports and excellent user interface and very fast uh, user interface generally the user interface on budget uh, routers is just very average and slightly sluggish that's not the case with very high-end uh, routers and again uh, most of the high-end routers also come with the mobile app so you can control everything using the mobile app and some of them actually do offer you remote uh, controlling for example even if you're not in your house you can control the router also, uh, the high-end routers do offer multiple USB ports and multiple USB 3 uh, ports and obviously they offer gigabit uh, port and some of them actually also offer uh, multi-WAN support. For example, if you have two internet connections, you can connect to the router. For example, many of the ASUS uh, router, high-end routers do offer that. So these are the things that you would get uh, if you offer a high-end router, but you have to decide are you willing to pay almost eight to 10 times for these uh, feature? And if Wi-Fi range is your highest criteria, I would say just investing in a Wi-Fi extender simply makes more sense. And now if I have to compare, uh, again, as I've told you, I have reviewed and uh, used actually a lot of Wi-Fi router. For example, this is a, a Netgear dual band router. Uh, this is an ASUS basic router. Uh, this is a TP-Link dual band uh, uh, router and I have owned uh, several uh, ASUS routers also. I have an AS Rock over there. Uh, thus, I have used quite a bit and even Linksys routers that I have uh, used. 
And if I have to rate uh, uh, these routers and compare it to smartphone companies, uh, I would say if your budget is very tight, uh, you can look at TP-Link based routers. And if I have to compare it with the smartphone company, I would say these uh, routers are uh, comparable to Xiaomi smartphones. They offer you a lot of performance for the price, uh, and uh, but don't cost a lot. You won't get all the bells and whistles, but for the price, uh, the TP-Link uh, uh, routers do offer you a lot. And also the Wi-Fi range is actually uh, pretty good on the TP-Link router. Now let's say you want a high-end uh, router and uh, let's compare it to Samsung high-end uh, smartphones. They offer you a lot and some of the best things that you can get. If you are that kind of a person and budget is not an issue, then you can have a look at Asus uh, routers. They, the high-end uh, Asus routers do cost a lot, but you will get almost everything that you want on your Wi-Fi router. And generally the Wi-Fi range also on Asus high-end routers are one of the best that I have uh, seen. So guys, uh, that's it for now for uh, this video. I hope uh, this uh, video helps uh, in uh, deciding uh, which router is best for your specific uh, needs. And uh, that way you don't spend a lot of money on a, a router. And uh, I hope uh, this video was helpful. So guys, I hope uh, uh, this video makes sense. And if you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.